Hey guys, this is Tyler. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick theories video for Batman vs. Superman um, on some stuff I picked up when I was watching the movie. And I checked online and I actually haven't seen anybody saying this. So, I don't know, maybe I'm totally wrong, but I actually think I'm pretty right. So it's going to obviously have spoilers. So, if you don't want to be spoiled, don't watch. Okay, so... Lex Luthor had the files of Wonder Woman, The Flash, Cyborg, and Aquaman on his computer. And when Batman, or Bruce Wayne, basically hooked that little device up to hack into it, he was trying to get something else, but that's what he got. He got all those files. And there was a lot of files on all those characters. A lot of files. Probably over a dozen for each. Um... And Alex discussed what happened in those uh, files, or the file, because they only showed one in the Batman vs. Superman review. But anyway, so I was like, wait a second. So why does Lex Luthor have videos on Wonder Woman who, so she's, she's at an ATM. So he obviously knows who she is somehow. And it's not like you could just get, like, I can't just get, ATM video, you have to obviously have some kind of power to get, to hack it, whatever, to get those videos. Same thing with the Flash. It's security footage. Well, I can't just get that. So you have to be able to get it somehow. So you you purposely were trying to find that kind of, I don't know, information, or you, you were watching that person. Or you wanted, you, I, I don't know how to explain it, but I think you know what I mean. So... Then the Flash with the grocery store, dumb. Cyborg, which was actually a huge deal, uh, which I'll get back to. And then Aquaman. Um, so I was like, why does Lex care about these heroes? They're not villains. He's he's a villain. Obviously, villains always think they're they're the hero, but he knows, you know, Aquaman, Flash, blah blah. blah. They're they'd be on the opposing side to him. So why does he care? Why does he have videos on these people? And it's not like uh, videos that would he'd be able to use to, oh, he, he can expose that. Like, it, it wouldn't really be like that. It was like almost for research. And he had them all, right? And it's all lined up perfectly. So then Bruce sees it. Then he sends it to Diana, Wonder Woman. And th so then what I didn't get was how... Like, why Lex Luthor wanted to make Doomsday. But then I... And and there was also, by the way, half an hour of the movie. At least 30 minutes taken out from the movie. And there's actually a clip you can find online. I'll try to put the link in the description. Um, what happens after Doomsday leaves that Kryptonian ship. And what Lex is doing in the ship. And anyway, so... Then I was like, wait a second. So... Towards the beginning-ish of the movie, Lex is talking about this painting in his mansion, his father's painting, and he said how the painting actually, it's its not upright. It actually should be turned upside down because everybody knows that demons come from the heavens. So, and I, I wouldn't even say what I was going to say. So, but, so most people, including myself at the time, when he said it, I was like, he's obviously talking about Superman. Because, you know, he's an alien. So, obvious, so Superman, right? By the end of the movie... Oh, and then... So then... So, that's, so that was that. And then you have Batman's nightmare, which honestly made no sense. So Batman has a nightmare. He goes and he opens the chest. And in... in or the box, whatever. The crate. And in the crate is this box. It's the mother box. And the mother box is directly connected to one of the biggest DC villains, Darkseid. So, and, and how Batman would see that box from never seeing it ever before, I don't know how he would see that in a nightmare. So anyway, so the nightmare continues. Flash comes back in time. Is that part of the nightmare still? Did that really happen? Not very clear. Um, Lois is the key, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, how did Bruce see the mother box right when he when he doesn't 
He never saw it before. So we have that now. Now we see the mother box again in Cyborg's video, but this time it's the actual mother box. And again, Cyborg's clip was the longest of the clips. So then, so then the, the mother box is what puts together Cyborg, basically. And if you're listening, which I know you're like watching, like, oh, he's getting put together and all that stuff. But if you're listening, it's making all these ding sounds. At the end of the movie, Lex Luthor is saying ding, 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 ding. So what, what I'm, here's my theory. And I actually think I'm spot on and I hope I am because it would actually be pretty cool. Here's what I think. Lex Luthor found, somehow along the way, found the mother box, touched it or something. Maybe his father found it. I don't know. He touched it, gave him this vision of an apocalyptic future. He, and he, so, and then he sees Darkseid, right? But obviously he doesn't know. He doesn't call him Darkseid. He just calls him a god or a demon from a different planet. So, He's a demon from the heavens, just like the painting. It's not Superman he's talking about. It's Darkseid he's talking about. So he sees Darkseid. He sees the apocalypse. And then, maybe, he, what I think is Lex Luthor is actually trying to put, to go, put together to assemble the Justice League himself so he sets up all the pieces to assemble the Justice League so that they can defeat Darkseid. And I think as a backup plan, which this is the shaky part, but I think I'm still kind of... The backup plan was Doomsday to take on Darkseid. Because Darkseid is like right around the corner. So, so that's what I think. So, so then I was like, well... Uh, well, the other thing, too, I'm like, well, how does he know that Batman is Bruce Wayne, which they never said in the movie, but you know that he knows because he was writing on those checks of the Bruce Wayne employee who lost his legs. So I'm like, well, but how does he know that Bruce Wayne seeing that would make Batman even angrier and really want to kill Superman? Unless he knew that Bruce Wayne was Batman. And he's not an idiot. He could put stuff together. Obviously, you got this guy going around. And he's got all this high-tech stuff. And the only way you have high-tech stuff is if you got a lot of money. And there's not a lot of money in Gotham. So, I mean, you'd have to almost be retarded to not know. But anyway. So, then I was thinking, well, let's look at the characters. Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, uh, Flash, Aquaman, Cyborg. Out of those, what is it, seven? Sure, seven. Which one would be the least likely to join the team or to work with Lex Luthor? Bruce Wayne, obviously. Batman. He, he, he would never. He, he'd actually cause some, somewhat with the way his mentality is, he'd almost cause more harm than good in a way. So what does he do? Well, he has to manipulate Superman to kill Batman, who's the threat to the assembling of the Justice League. So he manipulates Superman to kill Batman. Obviously, we know that doesn't work. But that's what I'm actually thinking, is that Lex's whole plan was to... Assemble the Justice League to take on Darkseid because he knows that the human race, the regular people, wouldn't be able to take on Darkseid. It can only be these metahumans. And I can't think of any other reason why he would be looking into these heroes. He, it's not like he was looking into the Joker, Killer Croc, who else? Brainiac. Like he, no, it wasn't any villain. Gorilla, uh, yeah, Gorilla Grodd. None of those. It was all hero characters. Why would he be interested in hero characters? And why would that be what was on his main server? Almost like he wanted it to be found. So, I don't know. Just That's my thought. 
uh, share it, like it, let me know what you think. If I missed anything, let me know. If, I, if I'm wrong, well, we won't know until 2017 unless they delay Justice League. If Zack Snyder watches this and I'm right, uh, let me know. But that, that's, so that's my thoughts on Batman vs. Superman, or my theories on Batman vs. Superman and possibly what's to come. All right. Thanks for watching.